Howdy! Let's talk about hydro testing paintball tanks. First, let's explain what hydro testing is, why you need to hydro test a tank, when you need to hydro test a tank, how to find the hydro date on a tank, and anything else that comes to mind. Hydro testing is something that needs to be done to any vessel that's gonna hold pressure, right? So for us at least, paintball wise, it's gonna be compressed air tanks and CO2 tanks. So the point of hydro testing is to make sure the bottles are safe. Uh, we need to make sure that when we're filling these things with all of that compressed air or CO2, uh, that the vessel that is containing said CO2 or compressed air is safe to use. So the way hydroing works at least, is they remove the valve or regulator, uh, inspect those threads, make sure the threads are safe and the regulator or valve is still able to stay in place well. They look inside the bottle, make sure there's no corrosion or pitting uh, or anything bad happening on inside of the tank. After that, the bottle's filled with water, a valve is screwed onto the top of it, then that goes into another thing of water. So we have big container, bottle goes in, top is sealed, and then high pressure water uh, is pumped into the bottle to make the tank expand a little bit. Uh, so they're checking for how much that tank expands. So on these carbon fiber tanks, we're just gonna use this as an example. They're also on these aluminum tanks, but there's a number, R-E-E-E -E -E stands for Rejection Elastic Expansion. And on the carbon tank, at least this exact Ninja one, uh, it's 13.5, and it's 13.5 cubic centimeters. So what they're looking for is when they put this in the water, uh, then put that hose on it and put that high pressure water in there, how much this tank actually expands. So how much water the tank displaces. If it displaces less than that 13.5 cubic centimeters, it passes. If it expands too much beyond that 13.5 cubic centimeters, it will fail hydro. Most of the tanks are gonna need tested every five years. So we have like aluminum compressed air tanks, uh, aluminum CO2 tanks, definitely need retested every five years. Then there's also old carbon fiber tanks or fiberglass compressed air tanks that need tested every three years. Uh, but for the most part, everything made in like, like that last 12 years uh, is gonna be a five year hydro tank. Let's look at tank dates. We have a CO2 tank, 20 ounce CO2 tank, and a 48 3000 compressed air tank. So for both of these things, the dates are gonna be on the top. Uh, it's, for the most part, anything that's gonna look like a date, and it's always gonna have the month and the year. And in most cases, there's some very rare cases where it's gonna be the year and the month, but most of the tanks out there, whether they're CO2 or compressed air, are gonna have month and then year. So if we spin this compressed air tank around, uh, we can find right on the top that there's a 08, a C symbol for Carlton, the manufacturer of this bottle, uh, and then the 16. So that's gonna be the month and year that was manufactured. So from that date, you have five years until you have to get the tank retested. And same goes with that CO2 tank. It's gonna look very similar uh, with the date, that 1016 on this tank, and also with the CO2 every five years. So there's a little bit of confusion about the month uh, on the original born on date. So for instance, this tank would need retested July 31st, 2022. So it can't go through that month of August because we don't really know when in August it was made. We just know it was made in August. So if it was made August 1st or August 20th, we don't really know. So it's gonna be the last day of the prior month. That's how to find the date on these aluminum tanks. Now let's look at a carbon fiber tank. So this is an Ninja tank, and this one is out of date. This one does need retested. So if we look at the label on this tank, uh, right there, kind of, we'll say fourth row down, right in the middle, there's that 0112. That's gonna be the month and year, just like the aluminum tanks. This tank needed retested December 31st of 2016. Same thing, because we don't know when in January it was actually made. And just like the CO2 tanks, there are some weird cases uh, where these labels aren't exactly the same, uh, but for the most part, all of the labels are gonna be similar to that and have that month uh, and year first. I know there's like the first strike tanks uh, that are gonna be reversed. There's like year and month, but they actually have the full year on there. So it's a little easier to find. So if the tank was made like in 2017, it'll say 2017. It won't just be 17. There might be some other ones, but I'm, I can't remember. Also these carbon fiber tanks only have a lifespan of 15 years. So say you have a tank from March 2002, that tank could no longer be used. It's not serviceable, we can't hydro test it, and you can't put air in it. Uh, because it's past that 15 year lifespan. 
there are these new first strike tanks though that have this new crazy certification that allows them to be used forever really they don't fall into that 15 year mark so if you're looking to save some money in 15 years maybe buy a first strike tank but the aluminum tanks are good forever they don't have that 15 year span so you could in 30 years rehydro test and fill like a 20 ounce co2 tank any co2 tank uh, or any of the aluminum compressed air tanks so we know a little bit more about hydroing we know how it works we know how to find dates you know that some of these tanks don't last forever some of them do but should you hydro test any co2 or compressed air tank probably not so definitely the CO2 tanks don't make any sense to rehydro. I mean, it costs more to retest them than just buying new ones. In some cases, maybe you can get like a really good deal on a hydro test, but for most people, just buying a brand new CO2 tank is gonna be cheaper than retesting. And I also don't think it's a good idea to retest all these compressed air tanks either. Some of the really old aluminum tanks that have wonky regulators and are just weird and like old might not be worth it. Because you can buy a new aluminum tank for $50 Hydro is typically like 30 to 40. So sure, hydro testing's cheaper, but sometimes if the tank's 15 years old, it gets tested, comes back, you put air in it, regulator's bad. Oh, they don't make these regulators anymore. So you gotta buy a regulator. And at that point, it's like 80 bucks and you could've just bought a new tank for 50. So if you have a CO2 tank, don't test it, just buy a new one. If you have an old aluminum tank, ask around, see if you should get it tested because not all old tanks are bad, just some of them. That's hydro testing, guys. I hope that was helpful. I think it was, I don't know. Leave a comment below if you have more questions though. I'll get to it, I'll answer it. There's a lot of other people in here who have been really helpful who can help answer it too. But if you have more questions, do check out like these paintball tip things. We have this playlist with a bunch of like useful paintball information. Hit the circle button and subscribe. Check out the paintball room my life store in the square box.